Hello and what is up guys, Tomcat here and welcome back to Spin Tires Mud Runner in the Old Timers DLC. Now in this episode we're picking up right back where we left off on our rescue mission and we're gonna see if uh, we can get this little guy repaired. So let's hook up the uh, let's hook up the Chevy Napco in the back and drive down to where the semi is and I kind of want to get my lights turned on because that's a little on the important side. Now I do kind of have to get my bearings again because I'm literally ju just now jumping back into the game and I'm kind of refamiliarizing myself with where everything is. So I'm kind of like, okay, where are we going exactly? Let me just see. Oh, it's literally right down there to the left. Okay, perfect. This is going to be a little steep, but it shouldn't be too bad. Shouldn't be too bad. Oh. As long as we don't hit any big rocks that'll catch the truck in the back, we'll be okay. Just need to get it close enough to the repair trailer that we can get it repaired. Just a little bit more. Little bit more. God, why are we getting stuck all of a sudden? Like, not even getting stuck, but just, like, why is it difficult? Alright, so now... Repaired... And good to go. Nope. Dang it. No! Wrong truck! Oh my god. Alright, there we go. So this little guy is brand new. Completely brand new and good to go. So we need to deliver a few more trailers. And we've got a... Hmm... Loaded log cart here. And two loaded log carts out here. With another utility semi-trailer. So I'm gonna drive I'm gonna drive down here and pick this one up because we're like literally right next to it. Get those lights turned on, and we will make our way over there. Now, hopefully by the time we get over there, the sun will be at least like starting to come up. It won't be so dark out anymore. I mean, you guys at this point are well aware that I'm not the biggest fan of nighttime in Mud Runner, so I I just usually prefer for nighttime to get done and get done and over with as quick as possible. And I know that it's a big part of the game, and I really should, like, sort of embrace it as that, but it's still kind of like, I don't know, I don't like the night. It's just because I like to see the map, and I like to see what's going on around me, and at night, it's literally, I mean, I know it sounds, I know it sounds kind of silly, and it sounds kind of, like, like, simple to say, but, like, it's just so dark that you can barely see anything. But, we're about to hook up this trailer, so let's go ahead and get in position. And throw it in reverse. You know what? We're going to drive a little bit further forward. Back up, back up, back up. That should be close enough. Boom! Good to go. All right, so now... Hmm, what is the best way to go from here? I'm thinking about, honestly, just going back the way we came and going straight to the lumber mill. It's going to be a little bit mountainous, but I think this truck can handle it. I mean, it's really good off-road. It's just it's just not the best when it comes to, like, rollovers. <laughs> but it's actually really, really capable off-road. A lot more capable than, than people, I think, give it credit for. And a lot of people are regarding this as one of the best, like, stock trucks that we have. So, like, in terms of off-road capability. And I'd rightfully so, because it is one of the best trucks we have. So, let's go ahead and see if we can get this thing... Okay, there we go. There's the hill we need to climb. I wonder if the ground is solid enough for us to do this in high, because if it is, we can just cruise right up. There are rocks here, though, which actually really helps us. Because this thing really, really likes to grip on the rocks. That's perfect! Like, no drama. It just went right up the hill. No drama whatsoever. Heading right by this guy, although it is a little soft here. Let's go and get around that bush real quick. Easy does it. God, wow. It's just so simple. It's so easy. Oh, God. That was, that was, yeah, that was close. I'm a little bit like, I'm a little bit iffy about getting close to rocks right now because I don't want to damage this thing. Seeing as I now know that we have no, there's no way any garage could be on this map. So, I'm, yeah, I'm being really careful. At least as careful, well... 
I say I'm being really careful as I smash into a rock. I'm as careful as- I'm being as careful as I can be. Maybe not as careful as I can be, but as careful as I can be while, you know, while keeping the game fun. There we go. Got some solid, solid ground to drive on now. Which is nice after driving through unpredictable terrain for a while. Still seems like it's the middle of the night, though. I wish we could see out over that lake, because there's a lake right there, but... You wouldn't know, because of how dark out it is. Come on. I do have to say, though, I like driving at night in the interior view. The only thing with that is that a lot of you guys don't like to watch interior view. A lot of you guys, like, whenever I stay in interior view too long, you're like, get out of interior view, like, now. So, interior view, I, I guess, might be a little bit frustrating to watch. So, we've got actually quite a crossing right here. So, let's see if this little guy can handle it. We're going to run, I think, yeah, we're right about there. Because I don't want to run, I don't want to run too fast through here because I'm kind of worried about getting washed downstream with the current. But I am going to drive up on the edge. I, I just think it's going to be a better, a better plan. I'm going to drive up on the edge and then just drive along the edge of the water. And here's hoping that that edge doesn't turn into like a really steep drop off underneath the water that I can't see. Because that does happen in this game sometimes. It's really annoying when it happens, but it does happen. So, yeah, it's really, really best to watch out for it. There we go. I'm starting to see light poles, which means we're getting really close. It's weird because the map actually looks like it's a lot bigger than it actually is. You know what I mean? It looks like it's a lot bigger than it actually is. And when you play it, you're like, oh, that's not actually that bad. All right. So there's our first one, which that actually didn't take, that didn't take very long at all. So that's complete. Now, these log carts out here, I wonder if we can grab them with the F-150. Now the F-150, oh. There's a problem with the F-150, you see. So it's either drive the Napco over there, or, well, that's, Actually, that's about our only option, um, is drive the Napco over there, which is uh, what we're going to do. So, let's grab, or we could just, you know what, we, wait a minute. Wait a minute, why didn't I think of this before? There we go. We have no supplies, but it at least helped us get, you know, at least helped us get there quicker. Alright, we'll turn the lights on, and we are going the entirely wrong direction. Now we're not. Now we're pointing the right way. Oh, God. Come on. Ah, no. What are you doing? What are you doing? There's no trail to speak of, so I'm literally just kind of blazing my own trail right now. Which can be fun, and it can be a little terrifying if you don't know where you're going and you don't know what's on the other side of the hill you're about to go over. And you're without any repair points, you know, just a lot of things that, a lot of things that just kind of come together to make a situation uh, moderately terrifying. I had my doubts about putting the truck in high, in like in high, and then I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna go for it. There's no no reason not to. Except that that's a good reason not to. What even was that? Oh, it was just like it was just a. Like, a bump in the terrain. That's it. That's all it was. Alright, looks like we have a lot of rocks coming up. And I don't know if we can go over them or not. They might be too steep. Run around the edge. Oh, no, we might be able to climb this. I say might. Oh, yeah. We can climb that, no problem. Wow. That's impressive. Chill out on the damage, though. Like, for real, chill out on the damage. We're not even there yet, dude. <laughs> like, I'm talking to myself, and I'm telling myself, I'm telling myself, make sure, make sure you don't beat the truck up before you get there. Aha! There's a repair trailer. 
or a utility trailer, whatever you want to call it, but there it is. That's perfect because not only does that mean we're getting close, but that means if we really had to, we could bring the, um, the 950 out here and actually repair stuff. Trying to avoid these fallen trees. They will damage the crap out of you if you're not ready for it. I don't even know if it'll do this, but but I'm really hoping that it will. Yes! Yes, it'll do it. Okay, beautiful. Perfect. Uh-oh. That's annoying. It won't bring the... Oh, God, it won't bring the little stand up. That's... That is genuinely, that's genuinely annoying. Well, I mean, let's see. We only have, let's see, that's, it's six out of eight delivered. So we really only need to deliver one. However, if we wanted to do something cool, we could see how far we could go with not very far. It literally, it's just going to go over. Like, wow, it, um, it stayed in the trailer. How's that possible? That doesn't make any sense! That literally makes no sense at all. How the hell is that supposed to work? Like, I don't get it, but... Let's see. What if we pull it closer? Would that even remotely help? No. No, that doesn't remotely help at all. Now it's just dragging on its side. That's all it wants to do is drag on its side. Well, we're going to see how far we can take you. And uh, this is going to be interesting for sure. I just wish it would lift the stupid, like, like whatever you call that. Like, not a kickstand, but you, you guys know what I mean. You know, the little stand at the front of the trailer. I can't think of what it's called right now, but I wish it would lift it, like, lift itself up. Because if it would, then we would have nothing to worry about. Although, what's hilarious is that it, it keeps toppling over and the load is staying in the trailer. So, it's not like we have to worry about anything. Yeah, look. I mean, any other, any other trailer and the load would have fallen out. But this one? No. No, sir. Oh, yeah. We got the sun coming up now. Beautiful. I was really hoping I would get to see this little setup in the daylight. And I'm tired of the transmission bogging itself down. So, I'm just going to put it in three... Oh, come on. God, it keeps just flopping over. I Whoa! I don't know why that's so funny to me. It's just funny. Don't need the lights anymore. Wait. Yeah, don't need the lights anymore. Sun's coming up now, but that is hilarious. I can't believe it actually... Well, I was about to say, I can't believe it works, but... And then it, it toppled over again, so... I should say... It kind of works. It works well enough for what we want it to do, but it's still a little on the, uh, weird side. Although I am a little concerned about that fallen tree and that it's gonna get caught. Oh, nope. It's good, I guess. I mean, it's dragging on its side, but... Once it fixes itself, it might be better. There we go. Yeah, there we go. It's so cool when you look at it and you don't see the little stand because then it, it looks like you're actually towing both. And to be fair, I wish you could because this truck is fully capable of towing both. Through here nice and easy. Oh, that's this is this one's going to be a pain with that trailer behind because there's so many damn fallen trees. So many fallen trees, it's not even funny. Uh, come on. There we go. This truck honestly doesn't get all that phased by fallen trees. I mean, a lot of the other trucks, especially the default ones, have a big, big, big problem with fallen trees. They just don't like them at all. But this one actually makes pretty short work of them. All right, I can see the mountains in the distance now. But I'm sort of inclined to follow the road because there's probably going to be a river crossing to deal with. And as the these games always do... The spot where you're supposed to cross the river will be possible, and then the entire rest of the river will drown your truck. So, if that is to be believed, then we have a, uh, we definitely have a strategy we need to use. Will you stop rolling over in the back? Jeez. 
Alright, so that is what we're going to need to climb up. And to be fair, I think we can do it. If we find the right line, I think we can do it. I'm actually going to branch off through here because I don't want to deal with that slushy, muddy stuff. And I'm thinking... I mean, wow, that looks pretty crossable right there. I mean, it, it, it looks... It looks perfectly crossable. Wow, high with that trailer behind us is not going to work. It's just, it just spins. Like the trailer digs in and this just spins. It is actually upside down right now. Like it is legitimately actually upside down right now. That's, that's, that's brilliant. I wish you would stay right side up. I really do. I mean, you just... It's not that hard! Yep, there's our crossing. Beautiful. Absolutely perfect. Okay, wow, the river's really, really, really shallow here. Like, really shallow. Oh, no. Oh, no. Damn. Damn. All right, we're releasing that winch. Gonna let it do its thing. Then we're gonna pull it over here, and we're gonna fix it. Oh my god, it fixed itself! Are you freaking kidding me? It's pulling us backwards. That's funny. Now we're gonna pull you over the trees. Come on! Come on! Oh, no! There. Let's try getting it really close to the other trailer. That might help it. Might. I don't know if it will or not, but it might. I love how we have ourselves our own little, like, lumber hauling train. It's so cool. We should probably take this winding road that goes up around the rocks. I'm thinking that's going to be the best bet. Yeah! That's probably going to be the best bet, especially with... Like, the finicky trailer in the back. I mean, it's, it's, it's almost no doubt going to be the best bet for us. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. It's just dragging. It's all it's doing. It's just sitting there dragging. But I know I saw a road surface up there. How are we supposed to get up there? Could we go this way? Probably not, but I'll try it here. I, actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do this. We'll bring the truck up there with just one, and then we'll go back and get the other one. Because I know the truck can climb this hill. That's not a problem for it. Come on. Oh, come on. Almost there. Almost there. Almost there. Come on. There we go. Whoa. All right. Get that other wheel back on the ground. Jeez. All right. So that will help us get closer to the top. So now what we're going to do is we are going to drop this trailer off, drive back down, grab the other one, bring it up here, hitch both of them together, and then continue our drive to the lumber mill. But that is for the next episode, and if you guys enjoyed this one, make sure to leave me a like. Tell me in the comments below what you guys thought of it, and if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe for more, and I will see you guys next time.